Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to my first Kirby's Dreamland 3 extra video. This extra video is going to be focusing on getting this heart star with Nago. The reason why this heart star is so special is you have to survive this ridiculously long level with Nago all the way through. And you actually have to go into another level just to get Nago. So yeah, it can be very frustrating. But Nego has a pretty uh, big availability. You can find him in the very first level of the game near the beginning, so you shouldn't have any trouble actually getting Nego, but getting him through the level, that might be a bigger challenge, but still not very hard. Just make sure you avoid all the animal partners. Now, uh, this video is not going to be affecting uh, any other video. Um, I I'm uploading this uh, on Tuesday. Which means I'm still going to upload a, another episode to be Tuesday's episode. So I'm not canceling any other updates just for this. So there will be two videos today, including this one. So yeah. That's my gift to the viewers who wanted to see this. And my gift to those who didn't really care about watching this because they don't have to watch it. They can just wait for the actual new episode and watch. Oh, and once again, I really appreciate your comments. Uh, comments are always helpful to me. I really stress getting good comments. Because when I get good comments, I usually listen to them. And knowing me, I usually do what's best for my commenters and my viewers. Because I listen to you guys. And you guys give good feedback. And I use that feedback only to get better, not to get worse. But, okay, back to this level. Not really much of a challenge, really. It can be a little difficult. Like, there's a few rooms where you'd think that Kirby alone would be a lot better, and it's true. But still, not supremely hard or anything. As long as you just be careful, uh, keep a good handle on your life, because you can lose life very easily. Especially in a room like this, where you have to move very slowly and not get smashed by the Thwomp wannabes. And see, the uh, Burning Wall of Fire was actually really helpful there. Okay, let's keep going. But yeah, this level is ridiculously long. I don't think any Kirby's Dreamland level has ever been this long. I don't think there's any le well. I can't really say Superstar because Superstar didn't really work like this. Superstar had just like long linear paths that led into different rooms and stuff, so it's not really ap applicable to what this level is like. Oh, and uh, you can't jump on the spike enemies when they're spiked. You can if they're like, uh, don't have any spikes out, but... Otherwise, you need to just try to jump over them, because if you uh, hit the spikes, even with Nego, who can jump on enemies and kill them, you will still get spiked and you will take damage. Jeez, this level is so long. Yay, 1-up. I needed a 1-up. I really did. There we go. Okay, this is another very annoying room. Just be very careful when you're ascending these stairs. Very ca careful. Not like that. Also, the wall of fire won't work here, so you probably want to get rid of your power-up. You can get it back if you want, but there's really no need to. Because there's another room with fire enemies coming up anyways. Sorry, Ku and Kai, I need to finish the level with Nago. Get the one up if you want, you don't need it. What really pisses me off about this level is that, is that most of these rooms are completely unnecessary. Like, you'll find enemies that are actually trapped within holes. This room's kind of pointless by itself. And there's another room where just sharks are just randomly swimming which seems totally unnecessary. 
Okay, be careful here. Otherwise, those purple things will try to fly at you. Come on, Nago, jump. Okay, this room is definitely pointless. Why Kirby is just walking along, I don't know. Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay, we have the fire back. Uh, I'm willing to say that Nago's fire ability is his best ability. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's really good. I'm trying to think of all his other abilities. His rock one's not bad. His broom one's not bad. His cutter, not good. His ice, not good. Electric, I don't even remember the electric ability. Oh wait, the electric is actually pretty useful. And the last one is needle, and eh, it's not too bad, but not good either. Yeah, I'd say that fire is his best ability. Okay, now we have the room of coming alive painting images. I'm willing to bet Edo constructed this room. But thankfully though, we're almost there. Okay, here's that shark room I was talking about. Very useless. Okay, this room's not very hard. Especially with Wall of Fire. It might be a little harder with other abilities. Okay, you got health. We got weird enemies hiding in the walls. You know what, let's just finish up this level. I think we're almost there. Ah, uh, crap. Jeez, there's enemies everywhere. Okay, how do I get through here? Okay, I gotta do this. There we go, screw you guys. I am going in that door. And yes, we're in the final room. Thank God. <sighs> Nago, you're a good partner, but I really don't think you were worth this. Seven minutes and 30 seconds, my gosh. Okay, everybody, this has been Slim Kirby with uh, the first Kirby's Dream Land 3 Extra video. Uh, stay tuned later today for the next actual episode of this uh, Let's Play series. Until then, though, this is Slim Kirby. Later, guys.